There will be a new community hub in Vermont's largest town addressing issues that impact many communities, housing, child and senior care. ABC 22's Josh Morrill shows us the unique approach being taken in Bennington. In Bennington here on Monday, both a local real estate developer and the town agreed to give the old Bennington High School here behind me a new life and they plan to make a lasting impact on the community while doing so. In a vibrant area of Bennington, the rotting insides of a historic local building will be given a makeover in the coming year. We actually tried to do a project in um, 2014 and did some studies and everything and what really held us back is we didn't have this anchor tenant. After a number of failed attempts to habitate the century old former Bennington High School, a newly agreed to $30 million project was sparked by the town of Bennington agreeing to be the anchor tenant that made it feasible for real estate developer Hale Resources. The perfect opportunity to push the project forward and then be able to utilize the rest of the building. The town will be on the hook for $2.5 million and will be renting about a third of the 70,000 square feet. The gym will be renovated and then they'll have a weight room and some locker rooms and that will all be run by the YMCA and then the yeah the senior center will be relocated there and so we're going to build out a space for that and then there'll be a commercial kitchen with an auditorium and some offices for Meals on Wheels. Zach Hale, the chief financial officer at Hale Resources, says his company will be footing 90 percent of the bill and they have secured 60 percent of that, awaiting more state and federal dollars and he says they are committed to providing the area more housing. 39 apartments within the building, 17 of those buildings will be uh, per perpetually affordable housing. They're working with the Vermont Housing and Conservation Board to iron those details out while Hale plans to break ground for the 18th month project by March of 2024 and says there will be other tenants as well. It'll be 104 spot child care facility that the YMCA would also operate. The Council on Aging and UVM Extension are expected to be in the building as well. And while this new project will provide some help for the state's housing crisis, Hale says the zoning and financial challenges for developers continue to persist. For private developers to come in and create this non-restricted housing that people can move here and work here and live in that housing, um, you know, it's, it's just making it much more challenging for people to move here. Reporting in Bennington, Josh Morrill, ABC 22 News. Just into the newsroom, Interstate 91 has reopened in Derby following this police investigation.